Hey guys, people are asking me this week, is the new bundle any good? Let's find out. What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we will take a look at the one year anniversary bundle now in the shop. People are asking, is it any good? Well, we'll figure it out. We'll check what's inside and we'll check if it's worth the price. Also, players are asking, is this bundle leaving the shop after the end of the anniversary event in about 10 days? Well, that I don't know. I cannot answer. They did not say anything about it. So will it stay in the shop for a while? Maybe not. You guys should definitely watch the mad stream. Anytime there's a live stream from Mad Finger Games, they answer questions. You can post your questions before the stream on the social medias. Now let's go with the bundle. We will buy one today and see what's inside. But you can click on the read more, the blue icon to see the details. What's inside the bundle? Now there's two things you guys have to remember. First of all, Mad Finger Games always been against pay to win mechanics. So don't expect pay to win stuff in money bundle. Second thing, whenever you have armor in the bundles the perks are randomly generated so that means i might buy a bundle right now and you might buy a bundle at the same time we might have different perks so perks are random and yes there is a chance that by buying a bundle you're gonna get an amazing item like super cool gloves with very good perks but there's also a high chance that the perks will be trash so it's more of a collectible the way i see it and with a chance to have good perks on one item, it is not likely that your full set of armor will be actually playable and good. The second thing is, it's epic. And right now, as I'm recording this video, legendaries have an advantage in PvP. So if it's only epics, it's gonna be mostly for PvE. Now let's look at the top three items. Uh, year 1 Helmet, Year 1 Buddy, and Nightwolf Belt. These are cosmetic items. So that's what you're paying for when you buy bundles, you buy cosmetics. They're not available in the game. They're not available in shops for gold. So you're buying three cosmetics. And the Buddy and the Helmet are actually super nice. The Belt, it looks a bit like maybe the Wolf Belt or something like that we had already. Now next five items are a full set of armor that will probably be uh bad i'm guessing but we never know we might have a surprise and the bottom stuff sgl golden emblem it looks like you have five camos with golden skulls sgl flaming skull sticker which is also unique to this bundle and the last item black lightning i have no idea what it is could be paint could be camo could be another sticker we'll figure it out i'm about to buy one it's 18.99 here in canada but for you guys in the states probably $15 or something like that. So let's do it guys. All right, items arrived and you need a lot of space for that. I think it's 11 different items that's gonna go in your inventory. Full set of armor, stickers, paint and stuff. But you also get gold, I just noticed. You get 750 gold. Uh, not that I need gold, but if you're free to play and it's your first purchase, once again, remember guys, if you never bought anything in the game, whenever you make your first purchase, doesn't matter the amount you will unlock the full inventory you'll go from 20 to 200 inventory slots now i'm at 199 right now i had 18 slots i think before i bought the bundle i'm gonna start by equipping the whole set and take a look at it and then we'll check the perks so i did equip the full set we're going to look at the perks now but you see now the black lightning is a sticker actually an epic sticker we're gonna just i don't know stick it on the legs i guess yeah it's pretty cool appears in the front apply and this is the sgl golden emblem and if you put it on your gear you will see that it is actually purple pinkish like space um pattern or something and you see the golden skulls everywhere so it's actually a super nice camo i'm not gonna use it right now i'm just gonna press the back button because i don't want to waste it right now on gear that maybe don't have good uh, perks. Now guys, I don't know what I was thinking. I just realized I didn't put the helmet on, but you have another item, it's a cosmetic helmet. So they don't have perks, it's just for the looks. But you can see it fits with the rest of the set. It has the yellow glow in the eyes and uh, on the back of the head, if I turn a little bit. Uh, yeah, matching yellow highlights through the whole set. But very nice for real really good looking now let's take a look at the perks i got on my gear we'll start with the shoulders 
it's double loot and selling i'm not a fan of selling usually i like triple loot or triple crit but eight percent loot not bad at all the problem is i already have better right now i have 12 percent, so probably not gonna use it ever the gloves i got crit i got rocket launchers accuracy and crit damage so not so great let's say it's decent just because it got crit but of course i have better gear the body armor is pretty bad i only have one hp perk and it is 8% total health is super low if you've been playing the game for a while you know that you're looking for high hp on the chest and definitely you guys have something better already the legs no crit double melee not bad for hive mind versus blinkers but again i have better already and usually i try to have crit everywhere and the boots no crit no cooldown only resistance so definitely not a great item here but going back to the question at the start of the video, is this set any good? Is it worth buying? Well, if you know what you're buying, if you understand what you're buying, you're paying something like $15, ignore the armor, okay? It's a collectible. You're really not likely to have crazy good perks. If you're new to the game, if it's your first purchase, I mean, it's cool. You could have decent armor, maybe better than what you have. But if you're a veteran player, you already have really good gear. This is probably not going to improve your gear. Now you be the judge and you decide if you buy or not. Is it worth it to pay $15 to you to buy three cosmetic pieces, some paint cans, camo, exclusive camo, and two stickers? Some guys will say yes, some guys will say no. I mean, I remember paying more than that just for the cat head when I started the game. So to me, having a cool cosmetic hat is worth the money if you love the game because it's a free game, actually. Now, I will end the video asking you guys a question. Is it worth it? Yes or no? Is the new bundle worth the $15 US? Leave a comment below. I will read the comments for sure. But I guess it's personal, right? So that will be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if it helped. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.